Hello and welcome to this Union Solidarity International web conference with Chang Chu Wai of the Hong Kong Confederation of Trade Unions. Chang is here today to tell us about the Hong Kong Dock Worker Strike. Welcome and thank you for joining us. Can you please give us some, some background to this dispute? Well, the striking workers' uh, uh, demands on pay rise and because um, uh, their pay uh, keep de declining and in the in the past um, twelve years, so uh, no, not uh, sixteen years. So at this time, uh, the the striking workers demand to have a pay rise, and also we would like to also to uh, improve our working conditions, uh, because the workers have to look, work for very long hours, uh, without any break, um, no break or recess. So uh, we would like uh, the terminals and subcontractors. Uh, make a uh, concrete promise uh, to improve these working conditions for them. Okay, now I understand that Hong Kong International Terminals is one of the world's busiest terminals and uh, so it seems that this strike must be having a very very big impact, is that true? Yes, we think that um, um, the strike action and uh, in addition to the uh, road to rule action taken by another union in the terminal uh, we believe that uh, the efficiency of the terminal is low, uh, goes low and uh, to about uh, 50 to 60 percent of its normal efficiency. Mm -hmm. And uh, we get some information that um, uh, more and more ships uh, have to be de delayed for more than 10 days. So we believe that uh, uh, it really brings about uh, a lot of damages mm -hmm. and to the terminals. And I understand that the, the terminal is, is controlled by um, a billionaire by the name of Li Ka Shing, who is the richest man in Hong Kong, con controls 70% of the port traffic, and is the eighth richest person in the world. Is this the person behind the situation that sees the workers being paid so poorly? Yes. Uh, uh, in fact, the outsourced workers all work in the terminals, and the profits, much, much of the profits, goes to Li Ka Shing. And we think that um, uh, Li Kaxing should be held account accountable to the um, uh, dignity and decent working conditions of the workers. But uh, we are very sad that um, Li Kaxing is still hiding, uh, hiding himself uh, from shouldering any responsibility. So uh, in this week, we are going to uh, put step up actions in order to uh, uh, directly appealing uh, to Li Ka Sheng, and we would like uh, our the Hong Kong local community uh, to put more pressure, to put more social pressure on Li Ka Sheng. Okay, does does Hong Kong have a long tradition of industrial action and militancy, or is this is this an, an unusual action? Well, uh, it is it is not very unusual, but. Uh, uh, to be frank, uh, when compared with uh, other countries, uh, especially in uh, countries in uh, in Europe, uh, we do not have a very uh, good un good uh, trade union movement and workplace militancy. But uh, in these years, in recent years, um, the gap between the poor and the riches uh, is widening, and the workers' unrest is, is um, uh, going on, and uh, this is. Uh, one case of um, uh, the workers struggle against this unfair situation and we believe that uh, this uh, is a very um, good um, uh, example for other workers to also stand up for their own rights. Um, I understand Hong Kong is an expensive city to live in and uh, wages have not been increasing and it's becoming increasingly impossible for, for workers to to live in Hong Kong on the wages they're receiving and they, they're working extremely long hours. Yeah. Um, I, also, I also understand that there has been um, significant showings of solidarity uh, from unions in, in other countries around the world and also um, some activists in, in Hong Kong. Can you tell us a little bit about the, the solidarity messages you've received and the support you've had? Well, uh, the first is that um, the solidarity support from the Hong Kong local community. Um, starting from the first day of the strike action, there are many, many local organizations, including 
some community groups, students, organizations uh, show their support to the strike actions. And uh, uh, up to now, we have raised uh, 5.3 million Hong Kong dollars for the strike fund. And this is uh, historical. And apart from that, uh, the international solidarity is also important for us. Uh, we got so many solidarity letters uh, from all around the world. And uh, the ITF family, uh, especially the Maritime Union of uh, Australia, sent a delegation to show the support uh, at the picket lines. Uh, so uh, in these two days of uh, ITF uh, meeting, uh, we are very happy to meet with other uh, doctors, dog workers, comrades uh, all around the world. And uh, it's very important that we agree to set up a campaign team uh, in coordinating with um, uh, the ITF secretariat uh, to figure out the action plan that we are going to do uh, in, the, in the new in the soon uh, in the near future, so that uh, we can step up our international pressure on uh, Hutchison Wampu and Li Ka Sheng. Do you? So it sounds like you have a lot of very solid support from both the community and from the international trade union movement. Do you believe that this this dispute will be successful? Uh, yeah, we are uh, quite confident that um, uh, the dispute will be successful, and uh, the workers will uh, have a, a, a dignity and more decent working conditions after this struggle. Um, Chan, thank you for joining us. I have no more questions for you, but uh, if you have a message that you would like to give to trade union activists around the world, um, uh, we'd be very pleased to hear that. Uh, well, um, it would be important that uh, the international trade union movement uh, to uh, show their support to us. And uh, in terms of uh, solidarity actions, protest actions against um, the business uh, of uh, Wanku around the world, and uh, in that, in addition to that, we would like uh, to uh, invite our comrades around the world to also make donations to our strike fund, uh, so that um, uh, the workers, striking workers, can get a living subsidy and to uh, continue their struggle. Thank you very much. Uh, solidarity with your action and uh, we will be thinking of you and, and supporting you from, uh, from wherever we are. Uh, thank you for joining us today, Chan. Thank you very much.